We have Australia's largest range of tyre brands and sizes. Find a cheaper identical tyre locally stocked and we'll beat it. At Bob Jane t -Marts, we'll look after you. It's knockout football time at Lakeside Stadium. The first elimination final for 2016. Third place South Melbourne hosting sixth place Hume City. Johnny, for the team that wins today, a spot in the semi-final. For the losers, it's season over. Certainly is, David, and uh, it's a massive game for South, obviously. Uh, losing to Hume the last time they played in the finals all the way back in 2009. They'll be looking to uh, get through to the semi-finals and meet Holderberg United in what would be a huge semi-final clash. But of course, first of all, we have to get past Hume City, who have been a strong team this year and uh, just got knocked out of the FFA Cup recently. Sheppy looking for the long throw. Norton tries to get in the way, goes over his head. Constantinis, the clearance and it falls to Mark Kellis and an early opportunity there. So dangerous in that situation, Mark Kellis, that time over the bar. Bobbing around and sitting for Fashini. Now Epifano, traditionally a big game player. That's a nice ball there forward. Chance for Lujic. It's gone past Oldfield. It'll be cleared before it gets to the line by Rama. Well, that was a chaotic quick moment there. And it comes to nothing in the end. Good acceleration there by Matty Miller. And he's still managed to keep it going. In fact, he's teed up Bradley Norton. Norton's cross in once Lujic. The clear is not dealing with it. Schroen comes through and scores. It's 1-0 South Melbourne. A mistake in the back, some pressure on the Hume City defence. They didn't clear their lines. Marcus Schroen came charging in, had to pick his spot. Cool, calm, collected and 1-0. Yeah, great start for South. Uh, brilliant work from Matty Miller to release Brad Norton down this near left side. Uh, the cross is, uh, has been failed to be dealt with by Beverly there and it falls straight into the path of Marcus Schroen who scores against his former side and puts South ahead. Uh, that's what you want, David, in an elimination final, the first goal to get you underway. A little bit of a deflection as well. But uh, we don't care. We'll take that. 1-0 to South. That ball not really holding up. Not too much wind to speak of this afternoon. And Lujic trying to find Monopolis, a combination that's been so dangerous last few weeks. Epifano speaking of dangerous. Good ball there. Chance for Bradley Norton. Tees it up. The cross is deflected. A couple of shouts for a handball. Referee waving it away. Schroen's free kick on target from range. And Oldfield moving to his left comfortably behind that one. Fashini assessing, decides to go long up the left. That's been where a lot of the best balls have come in so far today. Nice work, Epifano heads it for Norton. Norton across the face, opportunity for Lujic, he scored, it's 2-0. Once again, a dangerous cross in on the left from Bradley Norton and Big Milos Lujic, the man who knows exactly what to do in front of goal. A beautiful header and he's gone for the golf celebration there, John. The aerial Serbian in front of the Air Serbia sign, 2-0 South Melbourne. Well, David, it's another brilliant goal. Uh, Milos Lujic doing what he does best and that's putting the ball in the back of the net. Uh, a nice uh, quick play from Fashini to Epifano, helps it onto Brad Norton and uh, Brad Norton, probably could argue a second assist for the afternoon, just puts it in the spot uh, there for Milos Lujic. Uh, out, uh, out jumps uh, the defenders and sees Oldfield coming for it and just plays it back across where the ball came from, into the opposite corner, empty net, 2-0 and Milos Lujic doubles our advantage here today. And we can see, John, this uh, beautiful reverse angle here. Really exactly what you were talking about. Just picking his spot, going against the flight of the ball. And Oldfield, well, he had no chance there. Outstanding finish by the big striker. Short free kick taken, Epifano. And quick movement again from south. And that seems to be what's made them dangerous today. Miller on the turn. Well, Matty Miller, I like what he's trying to do there. But unfortunately, he's not getting himself steady and putting that one well wide. Markellis and Hume. They've been starved of opportunities over the last half hour or so. Hegarty, he knows how to make things happen. The ball played through for Kale. The flag is up. It was saved in any case by Raganovic. The first really good chance they've had for a while, but the offside flag intervenes. Fono's cross goes deep towards the far post, and Konstantinidis comes charging in. Of course, feeling a bit of goal scoring form recently, but not that time. Hegarty, the skipper, opts to go long. Dealt with for the moment by Norton and Fashini. That one's just going to come back with some snow on it, straight to Hegarty. Oh, it's a poor pack pass by Hegarty, straight to Milos Lidge, and this could really cost them. The chip goes just wide and deflected, I think, there on the way through. Well, that was nearly a nightmare for Hume going into halftime. Almost a very costly mistake there by the captain. Hegarty plays it straight back to Milos Lidge. You don't want to do that, uh, but luckily for Hume, they get away with this. Milos Lidge, I think the shot was going wide. It deflected off Beverly regardless, and it's gone out for a corner kick. 
Schroen in the third goal before half time would just about be a killer blow. Ball played in, out comes off. Bills is for Adams and it's charged down. And but for the leg of, I think that was Frunic there, John. That was very nearly 3 0. Certainly was Frunic and some desperate defending there by the uh, defender as uh, Hume failed to clear the danger. Falls to the south centre half in Luke Adams trying to score there. Frunic gets in the way and the danger is eventually cleared. Well, nicely done there by Bradley Norton. A good start to this second half by South. Of course, they need to. Remember the former South captain. Lovely work there by Fashini. Schroen, good ball forward. Chance now for Milos Lujic, and unfortunately, the offside flag is up. It was saved initially by Oldfield. He had Fashini charging in and denied by the offside flag. Rusheppi up the line. It's chopped off again by Norton. He's been very solid in that position. Better part of two assists in the first half. Now Epifano, chance for Schroen. Good ball forward. Uh, played in by Schroen to Monopolis. And Monopolis's chance is snuffed out by Beverly, who gets it away on the second attempt. Fashini. Again for Schroen and Epifano. That midfield's been really good today. Very solid, very settled. Fashini, nice ball looking for Monopolis. Comes straight back to Fashini. Fashini to Monopolis again. A lovely back heel chance now for Fashini. Good save, Oldfield. The ball played wide. Still there for Bradley Norton. Well, was he brought down there by Rusheppi? Couple of shouts for a penalty. Perry Mern not interested, thinking maybe he got the ball there, Rusheppi. We'll have to have a look at that uh, penalty uh, decision a bit closer. But first of all, what a back heel from Lee Monopolis to set through. Matt Fashini would have been a great team goal for South. Good save from Oldfield. And, uh, geez, David uh, Rusheppi there doesn't get uh, any of the ball. And I think there might be a little bit of contact on Brad Norton, but the referee waves play on. Monopolis to Schroen to Monopolis. Now Epifano. Waiting is Epifano using Schroen. In a really good vein of form the last few weeks, Marcus Schroen. Now Timmy Mahler. Mahler goes the short cross this time to Miller and the shot charged down by Beverly. That one looked like it might have been goal bound, but it'll be out for a corner instead. Schroen swings that one in, looking for Adams, comes high, misses it. Now the follow-up, Constantinides leaves it for Fashini. Fashini tries to pick his spot. He was eyeing off the top corner, trying to catch Oldfield out. Not a bad attempt, just a little bit too high. Constantinides looking almost casual with that clearance there. Been so comfortable in the back today. Monopolis for Schroen. Schroen charging. Schroen giving it to Matty Miller. Miller looking for the option. Right foot, low cross, great chance, Monopolis! And Lee Monopolis from close range. I can only assume maybe he was put off by the charging defenders there because that looked a gimme. Well, that would have certainly wrapped up the game and put us through to the semi-finals, David. Nice work down the right side from Matty Miller. Good cut back, Lee Monopolis. Should have done a lot better there, but puts it wide. Once again, a quick free kick taken. And we might see Brad Norton use once again. Epifano this time opting to go long. Good ball for Monopolis. Now an opportunity, Luic! And an unbelievable save by Oldfield. I thought that was definitely going, and he's managed to go full stretch behind his back. Well, that might be the play of the day, John. Outstanding work. Certainly the best save of the, of the evening, David. Uh, brilliant save here. Milos Lewis getting on the end of Monopolis' cross and uh, cushions that on target, and Oldfield just scrambles back uh, and just manages to tip that out for a corner. That is a brilliant save. Lewis just shaking his head in disbelief. He thinks it should be his second goal of the uh, afternoon. Look at that. Great backtracking and a fantastic save to the nice South goal scorer a second goal this evening. Hegarty trying desperately to find something for Hume. They just haven't looked like it for most of the day today. Although an opportunity going forward. Good ball played in for Carly. That'll be offside. And Craig Carly's one-on-one -on -one shot saved in the end anyway by Raganovic. And it seems their best chances seem to be coming from straying into offside positions. Carly playing that one back but straight to Monopolis. And just looking a little bit dejected and flat here, Hume. Time starting to run out for them to mount what looks like an increasingly unlikely comeback. But instead, Bradley Norton played forward by Schroen. Looks for options. Bradley Norton has gone that pass there. He doesn't look 100% Norton. In the meantime, it's been played back. Epifano to Schroen, the 1-2. Epifano's ball played in and saved by Oldfield. I don't know if he was shooting or looking for uh, Big Milos Lujic there, John, but in the end, no goal. Well, uh, Nick Epifano's put in a good shift this evening, but uh, really needs a goal. Tries to go there around um, beating Oldfield at the near post. Unfortunately for him, he can't score. Hopefully Bradley Norton's OK, but it looks like he might be subbed off here. Yeah, Bradley Norton uh, being checked out by Hume goalkeeper Oldfield there, and looks like Bradley Norton might make his way to the bench. Steve Hatsikostas warming up. 
Well, that's easily dealt with by Fashini, just using his strength nicely. Now Schroen opts to go back up the left. Matty Miller ends up with it. Goes past Rashefi, plays it forward to Epifano. Epifano plays that one to Miller. Miller forward, he's in Bradley Norton's role. Plays that one into the middle, it must be Monopolis. And it is, eventually it is, John. I was just about to hang my head as he smashed that one into the crossbar. It's come straight back down. I'm pretty sure that's an own goal off the Hume player there. My, oh my, Lee Monopolis will be relieved. He'll be relieved, David. He's deserved the goal today. I don't think this is going to actually be credited to him, though. A nice cross from um, from Miller, like you said, playing in uh, Norton's role on that occasion. Smash, and Lee Monopolis smashes it into the crossbar. He just can't buy a goal this evening. But uh, fortunately for South, it comes off Beverly who has been very unfortunate today, uh, setting up what the first goal, and then there's an own goal, and it's 3-0 to South, and it's game over here. Well, really, the uh, sting's gone out of this clash. Both sides know that they don't need to go too much harder for the rest of the game. Hume, though, would like to finish on a more positive note. That's a good ball played for by Hegarty. Chance for Carly, but coming through, the big pair of centre-backs, KK and especially Luke Adams there, just snuffing out any chance of an attack. Fano. Been excellent tonight with his ball work going forward. Hasn't had a goal yet, but probably deserves one. Might get something from this player, Pifano. Looking for options, we'll probably use Schroen. Some space for Marcus Schroen. Turns on to the left and launches the shot. Scored once against his old side tonight. And nearly scored one from there earlier in the season, but this time going well over. Hegarty's corner played in and the header comes across. And once again, Hume City, they just seem to be fizzling out at the key moments here. They haven't brought their A game tonight. And that one's played flat forward by Beverly. You know, an opportunity wide on the right. Just got to try and get something to finish with a bit of positivity here. As the ball stays in the shot, that's a disappointing finish in the end. Had time to swing onto the right foot and that one just trickles across the face. In the last few seconds of this game, starting to tick down. It'll be Hume perhaps with one of the late opportunities. Hegarty. Switches that one up towards the top of the box. That's a good ball played in and the shot going just across the face and wide. And Hume still can't find a way to break through. Well, the late substitution here, Limonopoulos comes off. On comes Chris Irwin for some extra running. And Andy Kachoyevich to play out the last couple of minutes. Marcus Schroen, after another great effort in the goal tonight, takes his place on the bench. Teed up into the middle, now an opportunity. Maybe, played forward, chance now for Carly, and Craig Carly's shot goes flying over the bar. I think offside was indicated anyway there, and he looks like he's hurt himself in the process too, Craig Carly. Kachoyevich snuffs that one out. Now Matt Miller tries to take on Hegarty, but it doesn't matter in the end. Perry Murr, the referee, brings this one to a close. South Melbourne advance. They have a date at the Olympic Village against Heidelberg in the semi-final next week. For Hume City, it's season over. They'd be a little bit disappointed with the way they went out. Perhaps that cup game midweek, John, took a bit out of them. South, though, an excellent all-round performance and a deserved win. A deserved win for South. Hume uh, had an early opportunity to go ahead, but from then it was all South, I felt, David, and I think we thoroughly deserved the win today. And it sets up a mouthwatering clash next week at the Olympic Village as uh, our former captain Rama comes off and applauds uh, the South fans there. Good sportsmanship there from our former championship captain. And as the South players go off and celebrate with the fans, yes, like I said, it sets up a huge clash next week at the Village for a spot in the grand final. Well, good applause there from the South Melbourne fans. They seem happy with that performance as well they might, hitting form at the right time of the season. This week's Melbourne City Toyota Player of the Match Award goes to the Pontian Maldini, a man who had a solid 90 minutes in defence and got some serious hang time too. Well done, Christian Constantinides. I've got the big centre-back KK here with me. Was it the uh, self-proclaimed Pontian Messi uh, from last week? After you followed up that fabulous goal, a clean sheet today, a great team effort from the defence. Yeah, mate. Um... What can I say? The lads just uh, work together really well and um, starting to hit some form, which is good. And we're, we're starting to put some good performances together. Whether we keep a clean sheet, whether we don't, obviously it's a bonus. But we're uh, we're raring to go. The competition's good for spots, and and we're, we're looking forward to next week. Now the defence was good all day, but of course it does help when you score early and uh, when you score a second one before half time. So it must be nice for you knowing that it puts less pressure on you guys. It makes it easier for you to hold it together when the other end's doing their job too. Yeah, definitely. I think you know we can defend for 90 minutes, but it makes it easier when one goes in and uh, luckily two went in and as you said last week we um, we create a lot of chances we just need to put them away um, and it kind of takes that buffer off us a bit so it's good I mean we're we're enjoying our football and that's what we said to the lads just enjoy your footy and it'll come. Marcus fantastic uh, very cool and calm finish there and a very important moment in the game so early to score. 
Yeah, it was good to get on the score sheet again, um, put the team up 1-0 and it really set us uh, up well for moving into the rest of the game. Um, but the boys were fantastic today, like every player on the field just put in a great performance. Um, it was a real team effort and puts us in good shape for next week. We've hit a bit of momentum lately and we're in really, really good form. Um, so if we can take that into next week, uh, uh, back us any, any day of the week. We're, you know, we're not scared of anyone and we'll go there full of confidence to, to be able to create, progress to the grand final. Mate, three goals in the month of August, three in a row. It's uh, been a good one for you. Anything particular changed in your game or are you just finally getting a bit luckier? Koo's taking a bit of credit for it. He had a little bit of a chat and then things have turned around from there. So give a bit of a credit to him. And um, no, I'm just feeling good. And yeah, it's the right time of season to be putting in good performances. So I'm just happy. Yeah, look, very pleased with the performance. Thought the boys did well. Uh, finals football, it's a different thing. Um, yeah, we got certainly got tested today, but um, I thought we came came out really well. Uh, the boys at the back did very well, and we scored goals going forward. So you can't ask for more than that. We've been scoring most of the season. That probably hasn't been our biggest issue. Obviously, conceding has been the issue, and that's what cost us second spot ultimately. Uh, so it was good to see that the defence not only kept the clean sheet, but looked really tight as well, and really limited the chances that Hume were able to have. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Look, look, this year's been pretty ordinary for us at the back this year. I think we conceded 18 last year and it was 38 this year, so massive difference. But, um, you know, we, we're in the finals now, we're in with a chance. We've, we've had to do it the hard way, you know, having been docked the three points last week, um, I think makes everyone that little bit more hungry to, to prove it was a, a, a poor decision against the club, you know, and we want to go out and prove people wrong now. So, obviously playing... Um, who's rated as the best side in the league at the moment in Heidelberg and um, they'll, they'll obviously be a uh, tough, op tough opposition, you know, on their ground. You'll, they'll be very confident, but, you know, who knows? Football's a funny game. You know, we are certainly going there with a little bit of confidence after today and um, be, a, be a tough game, but... Um, and we're going as the underdogs, but, hey, great, that, uh, that suits us as well.